All right, so now let's find the general solution to y double prime plus 2y prime plus 10y equals 14 plus 20x. And we'll notice in this problem, aside from the natural component, that we actually have a forcing. So first, let's go ahead and find the homogeneous solution. So in solving the homogeneous part, I set y double prime plus 2y prime plus 10y equal to 0. If I use the characteristic equation, I write this as m squared plus 2m plus 10 is equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation which is easily solved using the quadratic formula. I get m equals negative 2 give or take square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 is minus 40 all over 2. And again, there are two solutions. Sorry, it's m12. So I have a negative 2 over 2 plus or minus the root of 4 minus 40 over 2. So the negative 2 over 2 is just a negative 1, give or take. 4 minus 40 <clears throat> is a negative 36, which can be written as the root of negative 1 times the root of 36, and the root of 36 is 6, of course. The root of negative 1 is i, so I'll get 6i over 2 gives me 3i. I recognize that this is case 3, and if I compare the alpha plus beta i, I know the solution for the homogeneous part is going to look like e to the alpha x be a negative x times c1 cosine beta x plus c2 sine beta x. Okay. So now I know the homogeneous solution. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the particular solution given the forcing. And I'm going to use undetermined coefficients. So here let's go ahead and find particular part and looking at the forcing and using undetermined coefficients I'm going to assume that my yp of x is going to take on the form of my forcing so I'll use the undetermined coefficients a and b and write yp as ax plus b. Since it's a second order I need yp prime which is a and then yp double prime which is just going to be zero. Now if I insert all that back into my original ODE, I'll get zero for the y double prime plus two y prime, so it'll give me two times y prime, which is just a plus ten y, and y in this case is a x plus b. And that should equal to the forcing 14 plus 20x. So if I rearrange this a bit, I'll get 10a times x plus 2a plus 10b is equal to 14 plus 20x. So if I want the left-hand side to equal to the right-hand side, I'm going to assume that the coefficients of x on the left-hand side are equal to the coefficients of x on the right-hand side, or that the 10a is equal to the 20, and then I'll let the constant term 2a plus 10b equal to the constant term on the right-hand side of 14. So from 10a equals 20, it should be clear that a is just equal to 2. So I've determined one coefficient. And if I plug that into this other equation, I'll get 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 10b equals 14. If I transpose the 4, I get 10b is equal to 10, where b is equal to 1. And so I've determined my coefficients. And my particular solution, yp of x, which has this form, 
Again, it looks like my forcing function is going to be a x plus b. It's going to be 2x plus b, which is 1. So now I put together my solution for y of x as the sum of the homogeneous part plus the particular part. And I get y of x equals, let's go back and pick up the homogeneous part. We get e to the minus x. C1 cosine 3x plus C2 sine 3x plus the particular part plus 2x plus 1. Now in this situation I don't have any constraints on the problem. I don't have any uh, initial conditions. So my general solution is going to be written in terms of C1 and C2.